Hi, welcome to Make Monday. I'm Paul. You know, we've done some videos in the past that uh, where I've made comments or even done some demonstrations to prove what, what I feel was a correct way to do things. And then sometimes we get comments from people that say, well, we do it just the opposite and we have good luck too. Uh, so what we're going to do today is try to maybe get a definitive answer if there's any really one right way to do something. And basically what I'm talking about is the the gun angle of push versus pull when you're MIG welding. Uh, when I grew up, the rule of thumb was you always push because you got better gas coverage. Uh, some people have made the comment that they feel that they should pull uh, because that way they get better penetration. Uh, so what we're going to do is do an experiment. We're going to make a weld using the push technique and a weld making the, uh, the, the drag technique. Um, to take the human element out of it, the people over at uh, Buggo Systems have lent me this go for four uh, mechanized unit so that we can uh, just take the human element completely out of this. Travel speed is controlled, uh, torch angle and everything will be exactly the same for each weld. Uh, so we really ought to be able to do some comparison of apples to apples. And then besides push and pull, as long as we have the thing here, what we ought to do also is check what about torch angle. Uh, we'll do a couple of welds using the correct torch angle, and then we're going to exaggerate too, because you know when you know people have all different things the way they do things. So we're going to put an exaggerated torch angle there and see if that really makes any difference either. You know, my thought process on that: if you angle it too far, you're going to disrupt your gas coverage and, and perhaps get some porosity in the weld, which you might not even see. You know, depend. You know, that might only show up if you're doing like x-ray quality welds or you have your, your, your weld x-ray to see what's going on. But anyway, uh, I think that's a pretty exciting thing to do and uh, should answer some, some old age old debates. So if there's anything I like better, it's settling debates. So let's set this up and uh, make some welds and see what we get. All right, we've got ourselves set up here. We've got a good torch angle. Uh, we're gonna travel at 12 inches a minute. So once I hit the button, it's going to start moving to pull the trigger. Uh, it's going to weld. I'm going to let it weld a little more than half the plate, perhaps, and then we'll, we'll stop. Uh, I'll quench it so that we can compare apples to apples, and then we'll make the same weld traveling back the opposite direction. So we'll have one push and one pull. All right? Well, let's, let's get the ball rolling here. Okay, I've taken this and I've quenched it, so it's, it's just, as you can see, I got my hand on it to, to prove to you doubters that I didn't quench it. Anyway, uh, so now we're just gonna make the exact same weld, but we're gonna go in the opposite direction, which means we're gonna be using essentially a drag technique, one that uh, is very common with the uh, flux cord welding. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna just mark on here so we know which one was which. This was the drag technique and this one was the push. And I'm gonna go quench this and then we can get busy with the cutting it and, and etching it, okay? Okay, I've quenched the two samples that we just did. Well, the one sample twice I've quenched it as we made two different welds. Uh, now what we're gonna do is continue our experiment I've adjusted the torch angle. That's the only thing that's changed is the torch angle. Procedures, travel speed, all those issues are going to be exactly the same. We're just going to have an exaggerated torch angle. And once again, we're going to do a push and then we're going to do a pull. All right. So let's start this up and see what that looks like. All right, 
Once again, I've quenched the weld plate, so it's back to room temperature. Uh, we made one weld using the push technique with an exaggerated angle. Now we're going to do the same exaggerated angle, and we're going to use the pull technique and see if we see a difference there. All right, here we go. Okay, that's our two welds with an exaggerated torch angle, one uh, going one direction and one going the other direction. I'm going to take them and I'm going to quench it and then we're going to cut it and etch it and we're going to see between this, all the samples we've done here whether uh, direction makes a difference or angle makes a difference. We're going to compare penetration profiles and see just what's what and if there is even a difference. All right, well, I'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> we have our samples now cut and etched. Uh, I don't know if, if how easy this is for you to see at home, but uh, this one was the one that we used the push on, and this was the what I'll call the pull or the drag technique. Uh, to my eye, this one seems to be just a smidge deeper, but the push technique seems to be a little bit broader penetration. This is a little bit narrower, but, but maybe the depth is concentrated a little bit more. And this is with the normal torch angle. This one, essentially, this is a, a more uh, the severe torch angle, uh, but essentially, I think it shows about the same thing. The drag technique had a narrower, but very slightly deeper penetration, whereas the push technique had the uh, the broader penetration profile, at least in our, our little experiment here. So there doesn't appear to be a significant difference, so maybe it's just a matter of your personal choice. So uh, I grew up with the push technique, so that's probably what I'm going to stick with just because us old guys have trouble changing <laughs> as time goes by. Anyway, uh, that's some food for thought from MIG Monday. And uh, we'll see you next time around. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every MIG Monday.